get a whole bunch of uh, Tech 2 components on the way so that we can build our Tech 2 ships on Thursday. And I'm going to be using this tool to do that. But as an example of, of what that process looks like, where, or at least information about the tool, because this is a, a series more, more about the tools than about the process. Um, I've grabbed those, those, that list. Actually, let me just do it for you again here. Let's say that we were doing Mimitar, Galente, or Caldari, Tech 2. Let's turn that on. Uh, this tells me that currently I need to be building these things here. Now, there's an if if you're wondering what this little number is here, I know this is not very elegant. This was just an extra little bit of a little bit of va va vum because I was I was not 100% sure how many runs I had at any one time before beginning these. So, I wanted just a little bit more information here, right? I can see, okay, so I totally, I have 10 runs of buzzards right now. I have 22 runs of hawks, 12 runs of raptors, you know, and if we checked this against against the um, the warehouse here, where is it, buzzards? B, 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 B. Where are my buzzards? Hmm, where are my buzzards? Did it say? Oh, there, there. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, B. <laughs> Before C. Two runs of five. Two runs of five buzzards are uh, there. So, ten. Okay. So, the step here would, I would grab them. I would copy them across into the next little step here which is there. Now, there is a little bit of, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if that just lagged. Uh, I guess I will see in the video. I'm probably not gonna be able to do too much about that, but there is a little bit of heavy lifting going on in Excel, right, with with this, um, with these formulas here. And my, this computer is a little bit, it's a little bit old. I think we're looking at about a 10 year old PC here. Um, so th this step we're in, we're in the plan, Emmy and runs. I'm going to say, okay, what do we want to do? Now this comes down to your intuition. Uh, I'm not, I'm not supplying to G to remember, so I'm not going to go deep on orders. I'm going to go kind of wide. Uh, if you can imagine uh, a shop, I'm going to have a lot on the shelves, but not much on the shelves. You know what I mean? I don't want to have, I don't want to have Costco levels of stock. If you were doing that in Jita, yeah, it might be appropriate. Um, you could even do it on just one product. But in a market like Renz, it's you've got to be you've got to be a bit more wide in your approach. Um, put eggs in more baskets, I guess. Um, so I'm looking at this, and given whatever your intuition is, I know that I don't sell many Crusaders, right? But regardless, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna I'm still going to make five and zero with zero material efficiency here. Now the buzzards, I'm going to do five at zero. I could probably, you know, I could throw another job of buzzards down here quite, quite safely and then get them done as well. And I would, I would do them at five and zero as well. Um, but that's up to you and that's up to how many, how many resources you have on hand, right? So I'll show you once we've done this, what this is leading to. Uh, if I was doing the Hawks, I would say, I would say something like four and three. If you, if actually I better, I better describe what I'm looking at here. We have our blueprint copies here. So each one of these things in a curly brackets is one blueprint. Yeah. I don't, I don't care about time efficiency here, but what I do care about is how many runs are on that blueprint and what is its material efficiency? So for example, here is an Aries. We have three separate blueprint copies. This one has one run on it at two material efficiency. And these two are both 10 runs at zero material efficiency. So those would have been uh, formed from augmentation decryptors. All right. Now when it comes to decryptors, I, I'm either using parity decryptors or augmentations, depending on how many runs I like to do. That's it. It's not, 
it's not actually a question of super i'm not super worried about material efficiency and stuff i'm more worried about how many do i like building and how many i hate having like this you see this one blueprint here with one run and two material efficiency i i'm gonna delete that i'm gonna find that blueprint and i'm gonna delete it because that doesn't work with with my <laughs> with my system um but I, I prefer to be building in runs of five or four or if it's something really crappy like um I don't know, like a scalpel or, or a crusader or something. Not in this instance, but one of those, one of those new, one of the interceptors that got um, completely nerfed. Um, then I'll probably do them in threes or something, because I don't want to have a whole bunch of that stuff that never sells in the market. Um, so moving on, I would do raptors. Let's do four and three. Aries. Let's do five. Uh, five at zero. I'm not doing tens here because my play style is Mondays and Thursdays. I play twice a week for while I'm streaming. If I wasn't streaming, it would be twice a week for maybe two, two hours uh, each session. And I want to smash out all this nice and quickly. Uh, so importantly, if I was to do 10 here, these would not be done for the next session, right? If I did 10 on Thursday, they would not be done and ready to deliver on Monday, which is the next time that I play. Uh, Helios, let's do five out of zero. And this, these Helios, if I was doing them, I would, I would take it out of the ten here. I would take it out of the ten, so that if for whatever reason there was a rush on on Helios, I could, I could double up here, right? I could do five, 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 and I could, or I could do all five here, and I could have twenty going at it at, at the one time in four different slots. Ishkos. Let's do five at zero. Claws, let's do four at three. Cheetahs, let's do five at zero. Hounds, let's do five at zero. I've, I've got a lot more augmentation runs here than I would ordinarily have. I think I was running low on parodies the last time I was doing invention. Uh, endurance, five at zero. Now, prospects and endurance, I could I could totally double them up. I, I you know, you could could totally just smash them out there and, and do another do another few like that so this information here it is presented me this is all in a, a preparation phase of sorts to to then get copied over into the production ships which is where we keep track of it all uh, I will show you that I will show you that process now and um, we might we might actually the next tool or the next like element of the sheet that I will share with you guys is the production ships sheet. Um, so I would have this already. We have our blueprint cost, we have our material efficiency, we have the quantity that we're building in the name of that ship. So I would copy this. Now I go over to my production ships. We would paste it in there. And this is where we keep track of our progress of everything, right? It's doing just a little bit of thinking here. <laughs> Excuse me while it while it does its thinking. There we go. Old PC, old PC. Um, so that is in there now. The, the, now the next step for me would actually be to to go and either prepare the tech one elements for this or buy the tech one now there's 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 a way that i do that maybe we will maybe we will look at that in the next video i'm not sure i'm going to take this next minute to think about it but in the meantime you can see that um if i had this stock i'm currently so what this this is the overview we'll talk about this one as well at another date i'm gonna I'm going to pretend that all the those components that I've that I've that I'm currently building are are built right, and you can see what the overview then tells us here is that those ships that we just bought in, like this is our components, this is our components warehouse, advanced components for Tech Two, um, and what this is saying is that those ships that we just put into production ships here are going to use this much of the Amar stock. They are going to use this much of the uh, Galente, this much, uh, sorry, this much Kaldari, this much Galente, and this much Mimitar. And that gives me a, a quick visual on how much stock I have on hand and um, and that kind of stuff. We'll get into this one maybe, maybe uh, later in another video. Um, 
but I think that is that is that for now. We we had a look at this tool. This is the the next step in the process. So we started with um, uh, get guessy info. We then planned builds. Um, then loaded builds. Now, because once I've got that information, we I would go on to ne to the next step, right? I would say, okay, well. What about destroyers? Destroyers come next. What do I need to build in the destroyer space? I need to invent Pontifex. I need to invent Eris. I need to invent Bifrost. So I must already be selling all the others. So the next thing would be, okay, we don't need to do that. We need to then maybe do industrials. Okay. We will come here. Okay, I need to build cranes and prowlers. I need to do a bunch of uh, invention here. Um, so I would grab the cranes and the prowlers and we would pop them over there. I don't think I'm going to be able to, I wouldn't be able to do the prowlers because we saw the Mimitar was, was a no-go. But as an example, I would show you what I would be doing. I'd be doing one run of cranes. I would be doing one run of prowlers. I would grab them and they would also get logged into our into our plan here. Um, and to show you what that would then look like, I don't know if this is gonna update in front of us. Yeah, it just did. So the, the stuff that was required for the crane got added here and the stuff that got, that is required for the prowler got added here. But I have a little visual cue here that says, hey, you don't have enough for that. You don't have enough of whatever this is, which is plasma thrusters. I don't have enough plasma thrusters to do that. Um, now I might, you know, I don't want to be held back on everything just because of my my thrusters right now. And it doesn't take long to build thrusters. So the t so before I build some, before I arrive at my uh, stream on Thursday, I might I might throw an extra hundred or something plasma thrusters into the mix. Frigates are just really heavy on the on the thruster side of things, so it kind of threw out our ratios there a little bit. But enough of me talking, uh, that's the end of that one. I will catch you in the next video where um, I don't know what we're gonna be looking at, but I'm sure you will see it in the next video. Ciao.